This is for my fellow Aries out there. Thank you guys for being here with me. Our message today is based around the entire song, the lyrics of Miley Cyrus's I Can't Be Tamed. I've posted this before, it's probably been about a year, but it's coming to me strongly today. You guys are on fire. You're on fire, which you are a fire sign. So here we go, let's just jump right into it. For those who don't know me, I can get a bit crazy. Have to get my way, yep, 20 hours a day because I'm hot like that. Every guy everywhere just gives me mad attention, like I'm under inspection. I always gets a 10 because I'm built like that. <laughs> she's she's mocking, obviously. She's being, um, like I've been called before, facetious. She's being a little facetious here. Uh, just, But it's like because she's had a lot of things thrown at her, whether you're a male or female watching me and Aries or cross watcher, you've had a lot thrown at you. You've had a lot of assumptions thrown at you. This is a, an ongoing theme that I've been seeing for a lot of people have been getting that. So instead of being afraid of it, instead of cowering and running to hide, instead of being, you know, um, angry over what is being portrayed on your image, on your name, you're embracing it. You're like, you know what? I can't be tamed, so believe it. Believe what you want. Yes, it is I. It is me. I am. Yes. So let's keep going. <laughs> I go through guys like money flying out the hands. They try to change me, but they realize they can't. And every tomorrow is a day I never plan. And if you're gonna be my man, understand, I can't be tamed. I mean, we've talked about this before, but it is worth another another talking about you know this is this is whoever clicked on this video you want to make sure that people hear it in the back you want to make sure that people know and if those who don't like you want to come at you harder you want to make sure that they hear you as well no matter what you do no matter what you say no matter what you think of me I'm going to be okay because I can't be tamed Yes, I am those things. Yes, I have been those things. Yes, I experienced all these things. Yes, 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 yes. Come at me. You are welcoming it all. You're literally arms wide open, just like whatever you throw at me, just give it to me harder. Really, honestly, give it to me harder. Harder. Okay? But you're never going to control me. You're not going to control me or my emotions. You may be able to control how other people see me. Some people. But you're not going to control me. You can't control my perception of things. You can't control the way that I choose to take what you're doing, to handle what you're doing, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish. You can't control that. I cannot be tamed. If there is a question about my intentions, I'll tell you, I'm not here to sell you or tell you to go to hell. I'm not a brat like that. She's basically saying, if you wanna ask me something, just ask me. You don't gotta sit there in your little groups and talk amongst yourselves and assume. If you want to know who I really am, ask me. Not some fake account. Not some people who don't know me. Unless you want to believe it, that's fine. It's still paying me at the end of the day. I mean, this isn't someone being an asshole. This isn't you being an asshole, cross watcher, whoever. This is you saying, I'm not creating any of this. You are, and it's fine. I'm like actually okay with it. I'm, I'm actually more than okay with it. It's helping me. So it's just like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, like, in the, I'm going to post the video. I'm going to put it down in the comments and I'm going to put it in the, in the community tab. This is someone who's been judged harshly, who has been relentlessly attacked, probably online, but relentlessly attacked, period. Their reputation, their whatever, just constant threats, just constant evil eye, constant little posses and little groups, and this individual is finally rising up. Because if you notice in the, in, the, in the actual video of I Can't Be Tamed, Miley Cyrus starts off in a nest. She's like a bird. She's in a cage in a nest, and she doesn't really want to be fucked with. She's not asking for this. She's not asking for any of this. So how she chooses to handle it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. She's not asking to be gawked at and be uh, mocked or ridiculed or judged for being herself. She also didn't ask to be put in a cage. You know what I mean? But she's getting it nonetheless, so you might as well enjoy it. Make the best of it. You know, she even gets up and puts on a show for him. 
she gets out of the cage she literally like just goes whoop, slips her leg right on up out of there and then all of a sudden these dancers come in and they back her and it's like people putting on a show with Miley like and she's just like yeah don't change me you know what I mean let's read that part again it's very important if there is a question about my intentions I'll tell you I'm not here to sell you so maybe someone here is trying to create um, like we've spoke on a little bit here an image about you maybe even make it like it's you yourself and so this is confusing people but they're a little to blame here because they've been going along with it if they really wanted to know it's not that hard to find you they could just ask you themselves but a part of them does want to believe that you are the way you're being portrayed that you are the way that other people are portraying you that you are the way that people are portraying it to be you to be they want to believe it otherwise they would already have set the record straight but they don't or I'm not gonna tell you to go to hell I'm not a brat like that I'm not gonna tell you to go to hell because you want to ask me a question and what really bothers me is when you don't ask me a question and you just kind of like assume that's but it still helps me at the end of the day it's not what I wanted but y'all chose it for me I didn't you know what I mean? don't get mad at me for something y'all chose for me you're choosing my outcome here so here you go. I'm like a puzzle, but all of my pieces are jagged. If you can understand this, we can make some magic. I'm on like that. She's like basically saying, yeah, 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 let's do it. You wanna make some magic? You wanna make magic against me? Do that too. It's helping me. The energy is helping me. I'm literally asking for it at this point. We could do it together, but I see that you'd rather work alone. So that's fine. Come my way because it's it's seriously unlocking the chains on this cage right now like i really am ready to get up one out of this cage it's reminding me of like beetlejuice say my name three times please in a mirror like what is that one that you're not supposed to say in the mirror it's like some spooky girl did y'all ever do that when y'all were younger you're not supposed to say bloody mary bloody mary bloody mary bloody mary bloody mary bloody mary it's like some sort of ah you know it like freaks people out to say your name or to hear your name or to see it or something or they wanted you to get freaked out to see your name everywhere and it's like what I wanted. You're unconsciously helping me here. You know what I mean? Like, I want to fly. I want to drive. I want to go. I want to be a part of something I don't know. And if you try to hold me back, I might explode. Baby, by now you should know I can't be tamed. So why would someone explode for being, I don't know, like a uh, smear campaign against? Why, why would that make someone explode? The only reason is because their perception hasn't changed yet. When your perception changes, you realize it is beneficial. If all you've wanted to do is fly, is grow, you have this vision, this dream, but it just hasn't happened, all these things have gotten away. No, our perception is what got in the way. Our perception. We, a lot of us, have gotten in our own way by allowing others to think that they could control our outcome. Make us run in fear, shriek, hide, cower. But when you realize you actually do not need that, that all of this is happening to give you exactly what you asked for. All of this energy spent on you and attention, no matter what it is, is exactly what's going to help you drive, fly, go, it's going to be paying your gas. It's going to be paying your mileage. You're going to be in that jet. You're going to be wherever you want to go because everybody's got different visions for themselves. But trust me, it's going to help you. I'm hearing like word around the offices. You're like word around the office is you. That's it. And it's like, well, whatever's being said, you know, at least your name's out there now. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not a trick you play. I'm wired a different way. You are wired a different way. You're like, uh, you know, how people say uh, cut from the same cloth. Not you. Not you, Aries, or Crosswatcher. Mm -mm. I mean, that's probably not offensive to say to you, but even if it was, it's the truth. You're wired differently. I mean, even if you tried to be like other people and blend in, which, have you tried that before? How'd that work out for you? <laughs> I did it too. We've talked about that. It didn't work out for me well at all. I will never fit in. I will never fit in, and now I'll never want to fit in because I'm kind of learning to just embrace, embrace it. Like, uh, people just love, they love to hate on me. Like, I've gotten it my whole life. The people love it. They love it. It's, it's so, I, I don't know why I fought against it so hard. I might as well just embrace it. That's probably the ver my very ticket. You know what I mean? So basically, that's the whole song. 
I can't be tamed. Yeah, I can't be tamed. And so that's problematic. It is. It's problematic that you're fired up. It's problematic that the exact thing that was set out to destroy you has created you, has um, offered you the very things that you've wanted or it's well on its way. And as long as you keep this perspective and you see it for what it is, which once you see, you can unsee. I mean, this is what it is. It's actually very simple. It's like the chains come off. That is your key. You have found out the key. You have now been given the key to your freedom. You actually have had it a long time, but you were in resistance to it, which I totally understand that, but you were. You were in resistance to it because it's, uh, we get caught up in how things appear rather than like how things are and how things could be. So sometimes they never get to be what they could be because we're putting such negative energy on it. Like, oh, you know what I mean? Look at what it's doing. And it's like, no, look at what it's doing precisely. Two different ways. You could have the same sentence, but it's said in two different ways. That's the key. Whereas before we were like, oh, look at what this is doing to me, to my reputation, to my career, to everything I've worked hard for. Whereas if you see it differently, you could say, look at what this is doing. It's like, come little children, I'll take thee away into a land of enchantment. Come little children, the time's come to play here in my garden of magic. Well, that was creepy. <laughs> That came out of nowhere and look, don't come at me for that. That's not my song. That was on Hocus Pocus. And that's it too. People trying to put all this Hocus Pocus on your name and it's like, yes. You guys like my little, uh, uh, it's like a scarf. I got this from Goodwill a long time ago. It's got like silk on the inside of it. Oh my God, is that a pocket? No. It's so nice. It's cozy. Just, it feels right, you know, it just feels right. <sighs> So enjoy being a mockery. Enjoy being made fun of. Enjoy being gossiped about. Enjoy being hated on. Enjoy being unforgiven. Enjoy the grudges being held against you. Enjoy their words, their laughter, their posts. Enjoy it because it is the very thing that you asked for, just not in the way that you had hoped it would appear. And you didn't even have to do a thing but be yourself. See, see what I mean? Not everything is as you think it is. You'll see it later on and then you'll be like, son of a, wow, son of a success, son of a success. We did that, didn't we? We did. What did we do? Nothing. You didn't have to do anything. You didn't have to do any rituals. You didn't have to do anything. You just be your usual, offensive, beautiful, handsome, unique, uh, sometimes a little out there self. That's it. Other people's insecurities are what is going to promote you. You don't have to do anything. Be authentic and you can be free. Thank you guys for being here with me and I'll talk to you later. Bye.